everyone, this is really a video aimed at IGCSE physics people studying at Excel board. Um, the reason why I'm making this video for you is because you have a huge amount of physics to learn for that P1 paper and I want you to find the whole process as straightforward as possible. Unlike biology and chemistry where you should probably, you know, go over the topics, go over them and then test your knowledge with past papers. I recommend that you start with past papers and then go back later and fill in all your um, missing gaps of information because that's the thing which I have found most straightforward when I'm teaching all my tutees and it's the easiest way that they can score highly in their exams. So there are obviously certain topics that you do need to learn properly as if you were studying biology and chemistry and those topics for me are electromagnets, radioactivity, electricity, energy transfers such as um, radiation, convection and conduction and I think there was something else I wanted you to learn. Yes, renewable, non-renewable energy resources, so that's solar versus crude oil, fossil fuels. And I also want you to learn the topic of waves and obviously electromagnetic spectrum because that is simply fact recall in the question. Um, obviously everything I'm saying now is just my recommendation. Do your own thing, ignore me completely if you want, but that is how I would approach it. Second of all, make sure you've got those physics equations nailed. There is no excuse to losing marks because you can't remember the equation linking work done, force and distance, for example. It's a total pain in the ass learning them all off by heart, but they're easy marks if you've got them. So I use the physics triangle method um, to learn them. And what I would recommend, as soon as you get that paper and they tell you to begin, make sure that you turn over the back of your paper and spend about a minute scribbling out every single physics triangle you can remember. And the reason why that's a good idea is that when you come across that maths question in the exam you don't have to be scrabbling around in your brain being like oh, what was that equation I can't remember it you can literally just cross reference and have your own physics equation sheet effectively um, so yeah that's a number that's a top tip to be honest um, and then also just make sure you've stock learned some answers such as those for terminal velocity I'm going to insert a perfect answer here and it doesn't matter if it's someone falling out of a plane or if it's a ball falling down a tube of oil, which I've seen before, just make sure you've learned those answers off by heart and you'll get a five mark, um, five marks very easily. The same with conduction, convection, radiation. It's definitely learn perfect, le worth learning perfect wording there. So I know this is a bit of a strange video, but I hope you found it helpful and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.